Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the director and staff at Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery, we offer our condolences for the loss of your loved one. So inside this envelope is the map and the final resting place of Irwin. If you have any questions or concerns, all the members would ask for the more yarn necklace. It's at this time that the Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery Memorial Squad in the United States Army will render military honors for you. They're going to be shooting off three volley shots that are extremely loud, so we ask that you go ahead and cover your ears at that time if you wish. We will be playing taps. If you have military service, please go ahead and salute. Otherwise, take your right hand, place it over your heart, and honor your loved one at that time. If you're taking video or photography, it's absolutely fine. Please rise for military honors. They'll begin with the volley shots. Thank you. Memorial Squad 10, Hut, Fort Arms, half left face, unlock. Ready, aim, fire, 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 half right face, present arm. Order arms. Parade rest. Thank you, may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the flag represents love, courage, and devotion. The red stripe represents bloodshed in many wars on many lands. The white stripe represents peace, for every veteran seeks peace. And the blue field represents the blue sky above and the freedoms that we enjoy because of it. We, for we live in a land of the free because of the brave. Amen. Memorial Squad 10 Hut, present arms.
the Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery Memorial Squad. It's honored to present these spent cartridges representing the three volleys fired today in recognition of your loved ones. Honorable service. Port arms, left face, right shoulder arms, forward march. This afternoon, I'll read two scriptures with you, one from my Bible and then one from Grandpa's Bible. The first one reminded me of Grandpa. Every time I see him, he's smiling, happy, something to say, something to share. And it's a very, very long text. It simply says, always be joyful. The next text I'll share from Grandpa's Bible, found in... The book of Revelation, chapter 21, it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and he shall be their God. And God shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes. Amen. Amen. And there shall be no more death. Amen. And there shall be no more sorrow. There shall be no more weeping. Why? There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Amen. I like Grandpa's Bible because it's the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Lord, today we celebrate and appreciate the long life lived by a father, grandfather, colleague, co-worker, soldier, saint, uncle, brother, and husband. But most of all, Lord, you called him friend. Lord, he was a faithful soldier for his country and a faithful soldier in the army of the Lord. Amen. Now, as we wait for your return, teach us to cope with the hope that Jesus got up and so Grandpa will one day get up too. Amen. He's just resting, waiting for the trumpet as a musician, waiting for that call to call him back to full service on active duty, worshiping you. Amen. So we look forward to seeing him in his new uniform, a white robe uniform. Until then, Lord, let us stand at ease, knowing that all things are in your hand. Amen. 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 Today, the Army and the family and friends are honoring Mr. Irwin Ford. But there will come a day when God himself will honor him. He will say, well done, good and faithful servant. But someone's word is as good as his character. Can we trust God's word? Amen. Can we trust his faithfulness? Amen. This was the song that we sang two weeks ago in the hospital. I don't know exactly if he still heard it, but as far as I know, the hearing is the last sense that goes. Amen. So I believe that he trusted in God's faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no
above, join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Harden for a sin and a peace that endureth. Thy own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings on Center here at Abraham Lincoln. Can you just follow us, please? 